Hello, I'm Keegan Post. I'm from Michigan Tech. Uh, we're doing a senior design project for the mechanical engineering department. Uh, our project is the helical gear test rig. It uh, measures surface wear on the inside of a helical gear differential using a hydraulic pressure to apply a load and a hydraulic uh, motor to spin the spin the gear. Um, we use micro measurement technique to uh, record the measurement. We use MATLAB to process our data and uh, it takes the average of the top surface and the bottom surface and subtracts it for a whole depth and we do that before and after uh, each test to get uh, a wear depth uh, by the difference between those two. When we first started the project we had a lot of issues with uneven wear and also unrepeatable wear so our main uh, focus for our part of it was to get rid of the uneven wear and the unrepeatable wear. So for the unrepeatability part, we've switched to a die set, which comes down within half a thou in any direction. And then we've also put locating pins on all the pieces that have been bolted into that die set. So everything has to come together within a thou, a thou and a half of the, the same time. Every time we take it apart and put it back together, it's within a thou and a half. Um, to get rid of the uneven wear problem, the previous team had only supported the differentials on the ends. Uh, we've decided to go with a fully supported differential. Um, what we do is we take a solid build of steel and machine out a whole new cradle for it, which supports the differential along the whole length. And as you can see from these three body diagrams here, um, with this one you're going to get a lot of deflection in the middle because there's nothing supporting in the middle, where on this one we're going to have support on each side so it's not going to be able to bend. This will help with our uneven wear issue.